para pa para Comanja Comanja Hello 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 Why is my camera my camera is not working wait Let me Ah uh, uh. Work. Work. Camera. Hello. Camera. 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 Please. If I activate it again, deactivate. Activate. Deactivate. Activate. Hello. Oh man, the camera is not working. Just a sec. Hello, every neon. I'm gonna I'm gonna work on the camera for a second. Let me see if I can fix it. Mm. How do I get the camera to work again? Mm. Oh, there we go. Yeah, there we go. Okay, all good. Um, just gotta put it back. Got it. Got it. It was just no longer connected to my phone for some reason. I don't know why, but it just didn't want to connect to my phone. Okay, I think we're all good now. Yay, there we go, there we go. It's all good, it's all good. Camera's here, yay! Let me adjust it a little bit. Tiny little baby bit. And then we'll be ready. Hello, every nyan. Welcome to another crafting stream. How are you guys doing? How are you guys doing? Let's go! It works! <laughs> How are you guys, huh? Are you guys excited about um another crafting stream? I always love doing crafting streams, honestly. I have great fun with them. I am very excited about them most of the time. I just have a good time with them. And uh, I'm excited to make this. You guys chose to do this one next, so I decided to do it. I listened to you guys. Hello everyone. Hi Fair, hi Dini, hi Jesus, hi Elle. Welcome, 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 welcome. Mm -hmm. Did you guys enjoy yesterday's stream, huh? Did you have a good time during yesterday's stream? Did you have a good time? Did you have a good time? Did you enjoy it? <laughs> I had a really great time. I really enjoyed doing that stream. It was really fun. Um, and I'm happy that I did it. I had, I had, I really had a lot of fun with it. I had a lot of fun with it. I'm very happy that I did that uh, that stream. Little little silly stream, little silly stream hours. Mm. Laughing throughout the whole thing. Let's go! I was lost in the vertical stream. Hello, Hazel. Speaking of Hazel, <laughs> yesterday, you know the one. Wait, you know the you know the audio, right? Wait, I'm gonna I'm gonna play it again. This audio, okay? Listen, listen well. Listen well, okay? The audio that I made. Hi, this is James. Hey, James. This! It's your manager. This voice! Yeah, calling to ask you something. That you hear yeah. right now. Oh. The, the manager voice was actually done by Hazel! Woo! <laughs> Hazel was in on the joke. <laughs> I'll say good job, Hazel. <laughs> she did amazing. That's Hazel. Yes, Hazel voice reveal. <laughs> Hazel voice reveal. <laughs> That's great, right? <laughs> it was so fun. It was so fun. Hazel sent me so many um, clips. Uh, she recorded so many different versions. And um, 
She just sent them to me. She was like, I did I did a few versions. I did like excited manager. I did um uh uninterested manager and I did just reading the script. <laughs> so you can pick whatever you like. <laughs> and they were really good. <laughs> They are really good. I'm glad you had fun. I had a lot of fun listening to your recordings, too. <laughs> uh, I didn't I didn't say so yesterday because I wasn't sure if Hazel wanted to be named, but now that the word is out. Hazel voice reveal. <laughs> anyway, um, today we are making a little Pac-Man ghost. A uh, little mosaic Pac-Man ghost. I'm very excited about it. This is the instructions that we have today. Once again, we have a simple file with instructions. Just a single sheet of paper. Um, and it should be doable. Um, let's see. Uh, play around with the tiles, practicing the design on top of the base. Yeah, we're not gonna do that. We're just gonna start it. We're just gonna start. <laughs> uh, follow the drawing using the black and white tiles for the eyes. You can mix the four shades of blue and luster tiles as you like for the rest of the character. When you're happy, set the tiles aside and apply glue a small area at a time to the base. Place the tile smooth side upwards. Oh, the rigid sides stick to the glue better. Oh, I thought it was the other way around. I'm glad I read it. I thought we had to put the rigid sides up so it would be like do 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 do. But oh, we have to carefully align them then. Ah. See, this is why you read instructions. This is why you read instructions. Think we will be able to finish it? Yeah, I think so. Uh, what ghost is this one? I think I looked it up. I think it's called Inky. I think the blue one is called Inky. I'm not sure though, but I think the blue one is called Inky. Hmm. <laughs> Hazel's not a streamer, just a mod who like to help me out. Yeah. <laughs> the mods were all in on it. They knew. They knew. They knew beforehand. Although I didn't tell everyone um super ahead of time. I told them like a day before, I think. Just because uh, the idea occurred to me that maybe if I'm having like a lot of scuff, they might think that it's real scuff and they might wanna like try to help me out or like try to not dox me. Um, so I decided to um, to tell them <laughs> just, just beforehand. Mm -hmm. Blinky, Pinky, Inky, and Clyde. I would not know. Do you know all the names? That's insane. But yeah, I think this one is Inky, the blue one. I think Blinky is the the red one. Uh, okay, place the si tile smooth, um, smooth side upwards. Make sure there are no gaps and that tiles line up with the edges and grid. Continue laying tiles a row at a time. Wow, I can read, I promise, I can read. Uh, making sure they are straight. Wipe away excess glue with a damp cloth or tissue. Oh, I should grab my wet cloth again. Let the mosaic dry overnight so the glue sets. You can use it as a coaster or glue the parts into the back of the board to make a keyhole mount to hang from a screw. All right, should be doable, should be doable. I'm gonna very quickly grab my moist um, wipes. Wet wipes get. I got wet wipes. Wet wipes. Wet wipes. Wet wipes. Wet wipes. Wet wipes. <laughs> this is so strange. But you talked about it with a friend of yours. Morphogenetic field. Have you ever heard of Ice Nine? Um, or All Ice? Do you know that story? <laughs> it's my new favorite joke to make. Every time I think something that my friends also think, I like to say, oh, Do you know Ice Nine? Have you ever heard of Ice Nine? More for genetic field? Hmm. Let me check the glue. I I need to check the- Ah, I knew it. It was still closed. Oh, oh man, it is tacky. I guess that's why it's called tacky glue. Whoops. 
Man. Are you for real? Already? Man. I don't want to grab another... Glove. Just roll it on my gloves. I hope that it's fine. Um, close it up again. And then we should be able to start. We'll just start with the eyes. It told us to start with the eyes, right? So let's just start with the eyes. This one doesn't really have rigid sides. This black mosaic one. Oh, it's like a mirror. <laughs> Can you make him a mustache? Uh, maybe, maybe not. <laughs> I'm not sure. Let's just try gluing the first little thingy on there. Let's see if we can do that. Oh man, I feel like this glue is gonna be tough to handle. Oh. Wow. That's the prettiest square glue I've ever done. We need a man emoji, yeah. <laughs> I started saying it so much. We need a man emoji. Just the regular man. Just a man. Just a man who's trying to go home. Even after all the years away from what I've known. <laughs> I actually did sing an Epic the Musical song in my singing lessons today. I had my singing lessons today. I did it epic. I sang There Are Other Ways. It was hard. <laughs> it was tough. I always get so nervous when I sing during my singing lessons. Even though I feel like I'm allowed to make mistakes, right? That's what I'm there for. I'm literally there to learn how to sing. But I, I get so nervous still that I actually do a worse job than I hope I do because I'm so nervous that I don't really dare to sing so I decide to not open my mouth and not breathe properly and because I'm nervous I get nervous over singing in front of other people and then I don't breathe right and then it's just I'm gonna try doing two at the same time and then it's just me not having enough like air to sing and then it sounds bad and then I get more nervous because it sounds bad and I'm like oh man I can't do this and then and then I get more nervous and then I start breathing even worse and then and then I I just oh man and that's that's just how it goes my singing lessons all the time I'm never satisfied with how I sing during my singing lessons because it's it's always oh man it's always I get nervous and then I can't sing properly anymore. And I feel the same way about karaoke streams. <laughs> feel the same way about karaoke streams. It's so dumb because like I sang um, There Are Other Ways from the Epic Musical today. Or Epic the Musical. <laughs> um, during my singing lessons. And uh, when I sing it at home there's no problem. Oh man. This is not... Maybe I should add a little more glue because I think I, I spread it a little too thin on this side. Maybe not, but you know, can always try. But um, I, I when I sing it at home, it's fine. And then I had to I had to sing it during my lessons, and I was like, oh man, oh god, um, ah, 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 ah. and then my my voice cracks, and I'm like, oh. And then I just try, I try, and it's so, it's so, it's so tough. But, um, it's when, when I, um, um, when I, when I had to write down, like, parts where I breathe, right? Because I take the lyrics with me, printed on a sheet, and my vocal coach, she tells me to write down where to breathe. Because I... I'm stupid and I for oh I forget to breathe all the time. Oh, that didn't rip off completely. But the rigid sides need to go on the thingy. Oh no. Can I not get these off beautifully? What? 
No, the white ones are not going to look pretty when you get them off there. Look! There's all sorts of brown from the, the sheet still on there. I don't like that. Can I not carefully pull them off? Sheesh. Okay, wait. I'm going to try to take a little wet wipe and see if I can wipe it down. <laughs> Lost to the void. No, it's here. Right here. Hmm. You want to learn to sing because you have breathing problems during presentations? Breathing is my biggest problem when I try to sing. Because it's 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 really rough. Oh, okay, a wet wipe helps. Okay, good. Look. It's it's all good. It's all good. Whoa. The black ones are so much higher than the white ones. He's got a wooga eyes. He's gonna get a wooga eyes. That's okay. But um breathing's hard. And then when I write it down. And I'm writing it down, and I'm working on writing it down. And I, I sing along during the song just to check, like, where to breathe. It's all fine! And then once I finally have to do it, like, with my vocal coach playing the piano, I'm like... <laughs> it's... I, I can't. I can't. It's hard. It's hard. It's tough. Singing is hard. Singing is really hard. And I still don't know how to properly do it. But you know, that's why I'm learning. Still learning. Learning how to sing. And although it is hard, I shall not give up. Because I want to be able to sing well. And I want to sing more different songs. And I want to learn how to sound good. Ooh. I think it's gonna look nice if we... Get all of them done. Maybe I should take these off first and then like clean them. And then I can easily get them on there. I think I think that's what I'll do. Uh one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Let's clean these up. Mm-hmm. Bum 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 ba dum ba dum ba dum Bum ba dum ba dum ba dum Hello Kenny welcome 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 How are you today? How are you doing? How are you doing, huh? How are you doing? Can't see my own chat. It's very annoying. Oh, now I can. Let's go! Hello, hello. How are you? How are you? But you know, I will I will continue to try to learn how to sing and eventually I will get there and I will get more confidence and I will be better at singing. And that's just what I hope to achieve someday that I get more confident in my singing ability. But my vocal coach is really nice. Like she continuously tells me that she believes I can do it, and um, she tells me to not get upset if it doesn't go right the first time. She tells me it's like a tough song. She's like, "Oh, it's a hard song." But uh, in case you guys don't know, it's the uh, the song that I'm talking about that I was singing today is from uh, a fan made, I think. Kind of. Can you call it fan made or like a self made musical? called Epic the Musical. It's very good. They recently, kind of recently, um, released their fourth album, uh, fourth saga, the Circe saga. So um, it tells the story of the, the Odyssey and um, they, uh, the Circe saga is about Circe, <laughs> as the name suggests. And it's very good. It's very good. And um, uh, the song I was doing was the last song in the album called There Are Other Ways. And it is very good. 
and I really like the song. It's a banger of a musical. It's so good. The music is like, <laughs> ironically, epic. <laughs> um, it really has like these these epic like pieces of music, you know. It like sounds very bombastic and big and, and everything. It's it's very good music. Um, so I like it. Beetlejuice musical also yes, very good. And of course, Cats. I love Cats. I love my Cats the musical. Well, my cat's the musical. Anyway, um, for today, I also opened my, or asked you guys to ask me questions if you had some, uh, on my marshmallow. So, I have them pulled up here so we can talk about them. Talk about all these topics that you guys asked me about. And let's just start with the first question, which was, if you can have a fantasy pet, what would it be and why? First of all, thank you so much for your question. Thank you everyone who, who put a question in um, the marshmallow. It was really fun to read them and I'm very happy that I get to answer them. It will be fun. Hi, Kara, welcome. Welcome, welcome. But my fantasy pet that I would like to have, hmm. as a child, I always wanted a Pegasus. Just like think about like flying on a Pegasus or a dragon. I, I also really liked um, just dragons and and, and, um, and and unicorns too. I was a horse girl, you know, so obviously like all the fantasy horses like Pegasi and, and um, uh, unicorns were like high on my want list. Right now though, I think um, a Pegasus would be cool, but imagine all the care. <laughs> Imagine the the time and effort it would take to take care of a Pegasus. That would be an insane amount of, of effort that you'd have to put in. You want a slime that doesn't melt flesh? Ooh, why a slime? Why a slime? A slime would be interesting. Okay, if I think about dungeon monsters, hmm, maybe, hmm, that's rough. Like dungeon monsters like that? Um. Still, I guess dragons are really cool. Such a, a classic choice, but like just a tiny little dragon. Imagine you just have a tiny little dragon, you know? Tiny baby dragon. I actually have uh, two plushies that are little dragons that are filled with, um, there's, there's some stuffing in them that makes them a little heavier so they can actually rest on your shoulder. They're super cute. And, um, I, uh, I love those. So I guess I would go for a really tiny dragon, like a small dragon. But now that I'm reading Dungeon Meshi, I saw, like, Kelpie, the, basically, like, a water horse. Its tail is, like, a, a fish tail, and then it's, like, not like a seahorse, but just, just a, a horse that also swims, apparently. And I thought it was so cool! And... Maybe I would go for a Kelpie. That would probably drown me. <gasps> oh, we reached the light goal. Oh, I see, I see it, I see it. You want to set a new one? Anyone wants to set a new, a new, um, uh, light goal? You can post a message, a message in chat <clears throat> with like some emojis, maybe. Make it look nice, and then I'll pick one. Set a new light goal, and I'll pick one to set. That would be fun. Alright, I'm gonna glue the next one on. Before we set the new light goal. Okay. Do, 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 do. Boop. Might have to clean it off a little bit, but it says to let the glue dry for 24 hours once you're done. So we're just gonna finish like the Pac-Man ghost, little ghosty. Hmm. This seems like it won't stick, but I mean, all right, we'll, we'll give it a try. Seems like dangerously small. I'll put this one there too for support. Maybe that works. If I put the support one down first. Maybe if it's in between like a lot of other P 
pieces will stick better. But see how small that area is? Because it has the opening for the... If you want to make it a picture, like hang it as a picture. Well, I think it will work. Just have to be a little careful. I think I might do the picture hanging thing. I think it will be fun. You can just hang it on your wall. It sticks out a little bit too, so that's cute. But they say you can also use it as a coaster, which also would be cute. Hi, Gray. Welcome, welcome. We have a like of 30 by L. Oh, man, that's a lot. But sure, we'll um, we'll put it there. 30 is a lot, though. I wonder if we're going to reach that. That's going to be a tough goal. But we reached 15 so quickly within half an hour. That's insane. Thank you guys so much for the like. Well, thank you, thank you. Thank you, thank you. Hearts, hearts, uh, heart. <laughs> you would want a dudong from One Piece? Seals the do kung fu. That's cool. Oh, I like that. I like that. Yeah, I guess like a uh, uh, a kind kelpie, like not one that's trying to kill me, but like kelpie. Kelpie. Kelpie is cool. I also liked the coin bugs in um, uh, Dungeon Mishi. But wait, imagine if you could have a mimic as a pet, like a mimic that listens to you. That would be also cool, right? That would also be very cool. A mimic as a pet. Imagine your pet is just a mimic and it does whatever you tell it to. Right? It listens to you. A mimic is your pet. It's like furniture, but also it can protect you from evil doers. <laughs> Imagine a mimic as a pet. Ooh. I would like that. Never have to look for tools, yeah. Uh, mimics can only take chest rooms or contention rooms to anything. Um, it depends, I think. I don't know. Uh, I think they can transform into multiple things. Or like you have multiple types of mimics. Dungeon meshy mimic or shape-shifting mimic? Mm, the dungeon meshy one was really fun. Uh, it looked like a piece of furniture. Um, but also was kind of creepy. Because it had a lot of like, bug-like features. <laughs> Not me saying that I like the coin bugs in Dungeon Mishy. They were cute. The coin bugs were cute. Hey, did I get... Oh, I'm one short. I didn't count right. I'm one short. To clean up another one. This is very calming to do. It's very nice. We're just gonna get the eyes in first, and then we can start to puzzle with the blue tiles. There are some greenish tiles in there too, look. Isn't that cool? These are definitely more green. I think this is the most green tile that's in there. That's green, that's just straight up green. That's not blue. I might leave out the green ones. Um, can use them for another craft project sometime. I don't know how many I'll have left, but at the end of it, but I will definitely save these for like other craft projects. Will be cool. Thum, 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 thum. Oh, you'd like to have a full set of armor and weapons made of mimics? That would be cool. Imagine, imagine you just pull, pull up with your armor made of mimics. That would be cool. That would be very cool. I like that idea. I like that idea a lot. <laughs> mm -hmm. Dungeon Meshi makes uh, money eating look tasty, yeah. Yeah, the coin bugs look really cute though. They're really cute. I like the design. I like the idea of coin bugs. Really like the monsters in Dungeon Meshi. But yeah, I would like that. I think I think I would go for like Kelpie, Dragon, and if I want to be more um, original, I would say a Mimic would be cool to have. Imagine you have a Mimic. Mm, that'd be cool. That'd be so cool. Mimic as a pet. Oh, creative. <laughs> creative. Mm -hmm. 
Shall we go to the next question? Because that's another interesting one. What's your favorite childhood movie? Because if we're on the topic of like magical horses, like Kelpies and Pegasi and unicorns, I was a massive My Little Pony fan. So as a child, I used to watch My Little Pony movies, like DVDs and stuff like that all the time. I used to have like My Little Pony on all the time. I think my parents were slowly going crazy with all the My Little Pony that I watched. <laughs> but um, yeah, it was really fun. It was really fun. Fun fact, actually, when I um, when I was older, I did um, like when I was in high school, we were uh, we we had to do like a um, some sort of internship, kind of not really for a nonprofit organization. So you had to look for a nonprofit organization and then find a place to do like an internship. Um, it's kind of like to get used to working and doing internships or whatever. And I actually did mine at a children's daycare. And um, uh, those were very popular places. It was usually like animal shelters or daycares that you would go to. Um, and I went to a daycare and they played a My Little Pony movie. And I looked at it and I was like, oh my god, this is the movie that I used to watch when I was, like, four. <laughs> it was so funny to see. It was really funny. <clears throat> like the old My Little Pony generations. I remember vividly that there was one where there was some sort of purple goo taking over the, the city and, like, My Little Pony Land or whatever, Ponyville. What was it called back then? Um, and there was a song um, in it too. And I think in Dutch, I don't know if it was called that in English too, but it was called the, smoo the schmooze. <laughs> schmooze, I think. I should look that up. Wait, after I glue this one, I'm going to look that up. I'm going to see if I can find a picture of what I mean. There was purple goo everywhere purple slime basically let me look it up let me look it up also i really like gluing this it looks very satisfying it's really relaxing to do my little pony the schmooze the smooze the smooze it is called the smooze oh the the movie was called the smooze that's the one i watched all the time is this purple Slime taking over all of Ponyville. The smooth. And then only the the Pegasi could fly away and they were like trying to Oh man, I wanna watch the old Milo Pony again. I really like that one too. It was so cute. Wait, let me let me look up a picture. I think it was just called My Oh, it was called My Little Pony the movie. That's just the name. Wait, I'm gonna show you guys. I'm gonna show you guys. It was just called My Little Pony the movie. Okay, wait. Let me let me let me show you. But that's the one I watched all the time. This one. This one. This one. The smooth. The smooth is like that purple uh, slime you see in the top. It kind of looks like a Pokemon Grimer or Muck. Kind of looks like them. And then this old lady, I think her, uh, like the witch, her whole v uh, story was that she wanted to be pretty. And she has like a, a song about like wanting to be pretty. And then she kidnaps ponies. And she tries to cut off their hair. Um, because she, their hair is like magic. And then, um, they... Oh wait, you're trying to do a vocal message. So let me try to fix that. I have a message button that might work, but I'm not sure. Um, but she tries to be pretty, cuts off Pony's hair, and then apparently it grows back super quickly. 
super, super quickly. It's insane. I don't know what it is about these, but the way this was animated is so satisfying to me. It's satisfying animation. I like the way they drew the ponies back then. Wait, let me look it up. Let me look, look it up. Uh, where can you see them well? Is there a, a good picture of the way the ponies looked? Oh, in these movies. Not really. Which one was my favorite? I think she was called Lily. No. She was not. It was- Oh! Maybe she was! Yes! Lily Flutter Ponies is what you had back then. It was like, uh... Oh no, I also really liked the... Wait, oh, I'm gonna show you guys this, um... This. Oh man, what's her name? Flutter Ponies. That's what they were called. Firefly! Firefly was her name. Wait, okay, I'm gonna show you. Her name was Firefly, the one that was my favorite. My favorite was called Firefly. I remember now. I don't remember. I just saw it. Oh, I couldn't save it? Man. Okay, wait. Let me try to save a new one then. Okay, this image. Oh, man. Come on. It's not working. It's not working. Wait, let me get... I was, I was doing it wrong. Doing it the wrong way around. Oh! It... Look, this one. They also had humans in there. I think her name was Megan. And then Firefly, this pink pony, was my favorite. Is that Pac Man? Yeah! We're making a Pac Man ghost. Inky. We're mosaicing. <laughs> but uh, of course, I'm talking about something entirely different. And I need to show you. And then I, I kind of like derail the entire story. But yes, we're crafting today. Let's see. Okay, so that was my favorite. Just My Little Pony the movie. I think about this movie a lot. I actually think about this movie a lot. Maybe I should find a way to watch it. And we can watch it together. We can do a watch along. That would be so fun. If we can do a watch along of My Little Pony, the movie, that would be so exciting. Oh man. Imagine, imagine how exciting that would be. Okay, we need to start cleaning some uh, white tiles again. How many? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Twelve. Okay. Let's just try to clean twelve of these tiles then. Let's just do 12. Let's just take 12. That's almost all of them. I have four left over. Oh man. Oh no. <laughs> oh no. Mm -hmm. Do, 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 do. Okay. There we go. Now let's clean them up. Clean them up. Uh, but yeah, My Little Pony the movie. Other than that, I remember I watched the Aristocats a lot. Uh, that was my favorite Disney movie as a child. Um, really loved that one. I watched The Lion King a lot too, but I found it sad. <laughs> as a child, that already it kind of upset me. So, I, I mean, I liked it, but I usually wanted to skip the death scene. Is it fun or difficult? It's, um, it's fun. It's fun. It's not really that difficult, actually. I shouldn't say that too loud. It's just very chill, this. Kind of reminds me of, um, thank you for subbing, Eugene! Thank you, thank you! Thank you, thank you. It's very relaxing. It reminds me of diamond painting, in a way. I'm just a little more... Uh, effort. Mm -hmm. Aristocats is a good movie. It is. It was one of my favorites as a child. I still really like it. I still am like weirdly obsessed with uh, Aristocats in a way. Like whenever I see stuff from it, I'm like, let's go. I actually have this like uh, Disney Tsum Tsum from um, uh, Marie and Toulouse. 
I have both of them. A big one of Marie and a small one of Toulouse. Hi, Frost. Welcome, welcome. How you doing? How you doing? We're making a little Pac-Man ghosty today. We're going to do... Um, ooh. Make it look pretty. But we need to clean some white tiles because the cardboard-ish paper got stuck to it. We need to clean them first before we glue them on. They're so small though, it's hard to clean. Cleaning is harder than gluing. <laughs> Alright, three. Three, three. Bum, 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 ba -dum. From Aristocats, you only remember the quote, a lady don't... Oh yeah, ladies don't start fights, but they can finish them. Yes, 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 yes. Man, I love that movie. I also used to watch the Robin Hood movie a lot. Haven't seen that in ages. This was all wa what I would watch at my grandmother's place. I would watch a lot of movies there. Um, and it would usually be the same ones, but like as a kid, you don't get tired of watching the same movie over and over and over again. So, you know, you know, you know. You've got food? Let's go! What do you have, Hazel? What do you have? I got, um... I had wraps today, again. <laughs> um, because it was easy dinner to make. Because I had to, like, leave home to, um, go to my singing lessons. And then once I came back, I had, like, half an hour to quickly pick up some packages that were left at a post office. I had to pick them up today because otherwise they would have been sent back, so... I had to hurry, so I took my bike, raced there, got back, bought some more sour cream because I forgot it yesterday. But yeah. Ooh, you made pasta! Let's go! You've got a recipe that you really like? Oh my. Care to share? <laughs> Care to share, huh? Share the recipe? Speaking of recipes, there's someone who um, uh, asked in the questions, uh, is there any food, meal, or recipe you think the world is sleeping on? That's a tough question, honestly. Because my my eating habits are, like, very weird. I, I really like food that has almost no flavor. But I was told that there's a way to make, like, Big Mac tacos. So you make your tacos taste like Big Macs. You can just put, like, beef in there and then... Mix mayonnaise and ketchup and put in a little bit of, uh, um, uh, pickles and that will taste like the sauce or close. I think there was another thing you put in there. Oh, uh, no, I don't remember. I thought, I thought for a second garlic, but I don't think there's garlic in there. Background music is relaxing, right? Yeah, I like it too. I like it a lot. Hmm. So, mm, I I want to make that sometime, but honestly, food. I don't. I wouldn't say the world is sleeping on it. Well, maybe, maybe, maybe. What I really, really, really like. Hi, Galadi. Welcome, welcome, welcome. How are you doing today? We're making a little Pac-Man ghost. Out of mosaics and we're cleaning up the tiles right now so we can glue them on later because these are kind of filthy. Um, but what I really like is gyoza. Uh, and I'm not talking about like just the regular gyoza. I mean, I like, I love gyoza any way, shape or form. Um, but homemade gyoza? Oh. Homemade gyoza is just a different, a different breed. Homemade gyoza is different. I like uh, dough. I just like dough. I like bread. I like dough. Um, and when I make my gyoza, they're pretty doughy. But I really, really like it. Um, and I put in, like, uh, chicken and... Um, what else do I put in? Carrot. Chicken, carrot, spring onions, um, uh, leek. Very good. Yeah, make them a chewy. Yeah, I like that. I think I think that's very good. 
And then you put in some soy sauce uh, with a mix and some uh, sesame oil. And then you get a little nice sweet soy sauce to dip them in once you you finish making them. They just take a really long time to make. Mm. You worked out on a rainy day. Whoa! Let's go. I wouldn't do that. I don't have the discipline to do that. Let's go. Proud of you. <laughs> For working out during a rainy day. You deserve the relaxation. Oh, the world is sleeping on Stumpled. Yeah, it is. Yeah, it is. Oh, man. Yeah, you're right. You're so right. You're so right. You're so right, Hazel. Oh, I feel like that's such a classic, like, Dutch thing to eat, but, um... It's basically... Mashed potatoes. Usually, mashed potatoes. And then, something else. Something on there. Just dress up your mashed potatoes with, like, nice stuff. Right? It is fantastic. Yeah, I love it too. I love it too. Mashed potatoes, um, carrots, onions, make some um, hootspools, which is great, which is great. Put a little bit of milk in there, a little bit of salt, a little bit of pepper. It's just everything mashed together. Yeah. It's good. It's good. I like it too. And then get some meatballs or maybe, um... Usually, I like to have them with meatballs, or maybe uh, if you're having um, burko, <laughs> it would be um, um, it would be with uh, a sausage. That's also very good. A little bit of mustard in there. Mm, I like that. I like that a lot. <gasps> I should make that soon. Man. Yeah, I, I, I agree. Stumpled is definitely something that people sleep on that I think is very good, too. You guys are right, once again. You think of chips in large cones with, like, mayo on the side? I feel like that's um, more of a Belgian thing, but I like those, too. <laughs> mm -hmm. <laughs> a wise hobbit once said, potatoes, boil them, mash them, stick them in a stew. Yeah, let's go. I love potatoes. I just love potatoes. I think that's it too. I just love potatoes a lot. Okay, the tiles are clean. We can glue them on. I need to take that little bit out later. That's okay. We'll go around the eye again. Let's start here. But yeah, I love, I love potatoes. I just really like potatoes. Mashed potatoes, too. I feel like they're very... Um... Unpopular. Mashed potatoes. But I like mashed potatoes. I like them a lot. I feel like, um... If you order them in a restaurant... Like, when I went to Paris with my, my family... I ha ordered mashed potatoes. And I remember... Like, I think, I think my family just thought I was crazy because I ordered mashed potatoes with it. Like, you could choose. Do you want, like, uh, what way do you want your potatoes made? And they offered mashed potatoes, and I was like, well, yeah, you know, get me the mashed potatoes. And then they got me the mashed ones. Best mashed potatoes I've ever had. Best mashed potatoes ever. Also... I got lucky because I was smart um, because I was the only one who liked the mashed potatoes. My family didn't want them, so they were all for me. I got to have all of it and it was so good. Couldn't have been happier. The mashed potatoes were amazing. Love mashed potatoes. Oh man, oh shoot. Okay, careful. Okay. Gotta be careful. A little more careful. Okay. That's good. Go to this side. Mm -hmm. 
Potatoes on their own are mid, but it's not the potato that counts, it's what you do with them. Yeah, I think I think potatoes on their own are fine, but um, if you do something special to them, they definitely become a lot better. I have a friend who really knows how to make the best potatoes. And I asked her for the recipe, and she gave it to me, so now I can make the best potatoes. But I'm not as good at it as she is. I don't know what I do wrong, but mine are always a little bit dry. I feel like that's just the, the thing that happens to me when I, when I cook all the time. Like everything I cook is just dry. The meat I make is dry. Uh, except for my curry, that's always way too wet. I just... <sighs> Water to food ratio is not my thing. Hmm. A little rosemary or thyme, yeah. But you like salt, butter, and milk? Yeah, that's good too. Ooh, your dad was amazing at making baked potatoes, yeah. Yeah, this friend of mine has like a very good recipe for like baking potatoes in the oven. She knows how to do it. She told me, and I tried to copy it. I mean, they are good, but they were never as good as hers were. Mm -hmm. Oh, crispy and brown on the outside, but soft on the inside. That's the best. That's the best. That is amazing. Oh, I would have liked to taste that too. Mm -hmm. Oh, you cook everything too long because you're scared of giving yourself food poisoning. That is exactly what I do too, which is why always the food I make is dry. Especially meat. All the meat I make is dry. Always. I don't really make meat for like other people because I know that they're bound to not like it because I don't know how to properly make meat. Like dishes with meat in them. I really don't do well with that. So I just don't make meat for other people. I just cook vegetarian dishes when people come over for like to eat because always the meat that I make is way too dry because I'm too afraid of making myself or making myself sick you know mm -hmm. might just be me who knows <laughs> but it's tough cooking is just hard but yeah, I would say I agree with the Stumple statement. That is underrated. And the world is sleeping on it. I agree. Mm -hmm. But yeah, I, um, I'm just not a very good cook. When you were little, the only way you would eat them was if you put a bunch of butter on them. Oh, continued until you were 30, 13. When I was little, we used to have rice with like butter and sugar. If we wouldn't eat our rice, I wouldn't eat it any other way. Just butter and sugar. Rice. Still very good. Maybe I should have it again. <laughs> oh. Look, the eyes are done. The eyes are on there. Isn't that cute? We can start with a blue. Exciting. The blue tiles. Ooh. All right, do we want to sort them? Nah, we'll just start. Shall we copy the example? Or shall we not do that? Shall we just randomly place them somewhere? Random, I think? Random? Shall we just do random? I feel like we should do random. I feel like, I feel like we should just do random. Random fun, just grab one, see what happens. Let's do it. Let's do it. Uh, I think maybe we're best off if we start from the middle. It might sound strange, but then you can actually like attach them to what is already there. I think it will be better than starting on the outside. So let's just start in the middle. Let's just go here. 
start with this one. I want one of those glittery tiles. These are really pretty. Ooh, first blue tile is on there. Okay, I want a glittery one here then too, just so they match. I think that's cute. Take another one of those glitter tiles. These are really nice. Can I find one to show you? Yeah. Look. Hi, Hopes. Welcome, welcome. And hello, Akin. Welcome, welcome. It was one of the first games that you were obsessed with, Pac-Man? Really? Ooh. Look, these are so pretty. I, um, I used to play it. Like, my grandmother had, um, a neighbor who actually had one of those, like, Pac-Man devices. So I would play Pac-Man there. Sparkles. Yeah, it's sparkly. Isn't it cute? I like that. Do, 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 But yeah, I played it a little bit. And I actually played like a Pac-Man arcade game recently when I went to have dinner with, well, recently, I think it's already a while back, but um, I was with my, my mama. My mama took us out for dinner. I think it was last summer, so it was a year back. But my mama took us out for dinner, like all her star children. And um, we had um, food at a place that had an arcade too, like an arcade in the restaurant so um, we played some Pac-Man there because they had four people multiplayer Pac-Man which was really fun it was really really fun do 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 but it it was really fun. I, I hadn't played Pac-Man in a while. There's a, a Pac-Man 99 now as well, right? Or is that a lie? Is that true? Because I know that there's Tetris 99. That I've played. I love Tetris. I was more of a Tetris girly than a Pac-Man girly. Eventually. But, um, there's a, there's a, a Pac-Man 99 as well now, right? Or am I wrong about that? Ooh, this one's a kind of, um, hollow. Wait, can I show you? Look, this one's kind of holographic. Do you see? Kind of like rainbow highlights. Have you seen the kid who beat Tetris? Yes, I have. I've seen that video. I've seen that video. It was really cool. That's amazing. You beat Tetris. Imagine you can tell people you beat Tetris. How cool would that be? <laughs> if I beat Tetris, I would tell everyone. I would make that my personality. Now beating Tetris is my personality because of, mm, no, that's the same one. I'm just that good. Just that good at Tetris. Do you guys like it this way? I'm not sure yet. I think maybe, maybe if I find, if we finish it, it will look better. I, I think this is a trust the process kind of thing. You just have to trust the process. So I shall try to trust the process. But I'm not sure. Maybe I should have done it like color gradient or something. Too late for that now. Probably I could rip them off, but why would I do that, you know? We were just, we were gonna do random, so here we are doing random. 
I'm doing random. That's what we wanted. And put a sparkly one here too. It's a thing that will fit. Just let me cook. Don't. Your meat will become dry. <laughs> Tetris is hard. Yeah, I like Tetris a lot though. Tetris 99 stressed me out a little bit. I have to be honest. Um, because it was like competitive Tetris. But still, I beat it once. Which was really cool to do. It's a really cool experience. To have beaten it at least once. It was really fun. I like Tetris a lot. Maybe we can play it on stream sometime. And play some Tetris. Ooh. I think it will look fun once we finish it. I think it will look cute anyway. Mm. Do, 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 do. Would you say sugar in tea or not? I would say yes, but um, I, I just like my tea sweet. I just like sweet tea. So maybe, maybe I'm the weird one for liking sweet tea, but I like my tea sweet. I'm sorry. Blasphemy, I know. <laughs> it's blasphemy, I know. But I like my tea sweet. I'm sorry. I just need my sweet tea. <laughs> mm. Yeah, the little kid beating Tetris was so cool and wholesome. It was. It was really cool. And then I remember, like, adults clowning on him because they were like, Oh, this is a game addiction, blah, 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 blah. And I was like, man, the kid just did something really, really cool. Come on. Come on, man. Adults bullying him online. This is a kid who beat Tetris and they could never dream of beating Tetris. It's really cool. I wish I were that good at Tetris. I remember Papa Star played a lot of Tetris. Mm hmm. Yeah, people are just jealous. Adults who couldn't achieve that themselves. I'm bullying a child for beating Tetris, which is such a cool achievement. Imagine you can tell people you beat Tetris. Like I said, I would make it my personality. It would be the only thing I talked about forever. We'll be like, oh shit, there's Yuri again. Who? The one who beat Tetris. Oh, her. She only talks about that one achievement she had. Yeah. Honestly, can't stand her. <laughs> okay, I think I think it will be cute once we put it all together. It's like green and blue. I think it will be cute. You would also make it your only personality. Yeah. Yeah, I would definitely do that. Mm -hmm. mm. Hi, Deterium. Welcome, welcome. But yeah, people are um, strange creatures. They do strange things out of jealousy. Let's see, let's see. Uh, what else did you guys ask me about? Any games I haven't played yet but really want to? On stream or in general? Because, hmm. That's a difficult question. Um, in general, there are quite a bit, a few games that I would still like to play that I haven't ever played. Like, I would like to play, um,. Bayonetta. I like to play the Bayonetta series. It's a game series that I would really, really like to try. Um, I also think that I would have a lot of fun 
Um, playing Haven. Haven is a game that I would like to play. Just in general, Haven. Um, a lot more Harvest Moon games. A lot more Harvest Moon games that I feel like would be fun to play. Let's uh, continue this way so we can kind of make it look even. Harvest Moon. I love Harvest Moon. I really, really like Harvest Moon a lot. Um, for games, if I if I really, really hadn't played one in the series, it would be like Bayonetta uh, and Haven. I would really like to play. A Spirit Farer is a game that I would also still like to play. Um, Spirit Farer would be cool. Mm. And I think I would enjoy the Yakuza series. I actually have a Yakuza game that I should still wa uh, watch. I should still play. Um, that I got from a friend. But I don't know if I would like to stream Yakuza because I think it will take a really, really long time to finish a Yakuza game. So I think maybe it would be boring for you guys to watch. Also, I would like to play more Assassin's Creed. I mean Harvest Moon or Story of Seasons? I mean the old Harvest Moon, like before it became Story of Seasons. Uh, right now, I booted up um, Harvest Moon Tale of Two Towns, which was my favorite when I was a child. So that's the one I'm playing right now, but I'm playing it super, super slowly. Because honestly, I don't have a lot of time. But I think that I would like to mm, play... Uh, on stream, if we're talking about on stream, like something that would be fit for stream, I would definitely like to play Professor Layton for like a Mystery Sunday. I guess Mystery Sunday is more of a puzzle Sunday actually, but eh, I like the Mystery Sunday name. I think it works well. So yeah, I would say uh, Professor Layton I would like to play. I would also like to play... Hmm, what else? Uh, Spirit Fairer would be something that I think I will stream. I'm not too sure about it yet, though. Spirit Fairer. Um, I want to play more Pokemon always. Can I do an anime reaction? Maybe, maybe someday we can watch anime on stream. I'm not too keen on, like, doing watch along streams because I feel like mm, they are hard to really make fun for everyone because if people join late later I wouldn't I wouldn't say they're late or anything but if people want to join later that's kind of stressful because they will have to like look up the episode find the exact minute that you're at in order to actually join the stream so I, th I think Watch along streams kind of like exclude a lot of people and the thing is you can't really show it live on stream because of copyright reasons So I can't do a live anime reaction while watching the show uh, Usually I think there are some exceptions, but I would have to look for that Hmm do, do, do. What about Rain Code? Oh yeah, I've been, I've been, I've read things about Rain Code. I don't know how to feel about it yet. Um, I've read good and bad things about it. I would be, I would be, I would be uh, up for playing Rain Code. I think it would be an interesting game to play. The art style is like the Danganronpa art style, so I like that. I like that. I used to be really into Danganronpa when I was younger. <laughs> For better or for worse. <laughs> it's a beautiful green one. It's a really nice green tile. So, yeah, Rain Code, I would definitely like to play. Bayonetta, also, I would really, really like to play. You th I think you already know this, but the true Harvest Moon games are now called Story Seasons. Yes! I know, I know, I know. I knew. I am aware. <laughs> I 
I actually have um, played both Harvest Moon and Story of Seasons the way it is now. But yeah, Harvest Moon. I would also really like to play Animal Crossing on stream sometime. An Animal Crossing game. Hmm. I'm thinking about other games that I would like to play because there are so many. There are so many games that I want to play. Uh, I would really, really like to play Astral Chain. Astral Chain is a game that I still have that I think we might play it after Nier. Actually, I've been thinking about it a lot. I would love to play Astral Chain. Um, Astral Chain is... I started it. It's really hard. It's a really hard game. It's hard to remember the controls. So I quit playing it and then I couldn't get back into it because I had forgotten about the controls. But I would love to play Astral Chain on stream with you guys. I think that would be a lot of fun. Also a very long game though. But we could sit out long games, right? Mm. Astral, Chain, Astral Chain you've seen snippets of and a friend thought it was really cool. Yeah, I played uh, the beginning of Astral Chain and then I couldn't uh, I didn't really have time to play it a lot back then and then when I tried to get back into it I had forgotten all the controls and then it was impossibly hard to play that's when it had gotten impossibly hard to play because the problem that I problem that I had with um, Astral Chain was that they teach you all the controls in the beginning of the game all of them just all all of it they're like here's a training program all of it so you know everything. But that also means you know nothing. Because I would forget it immediately. And then I would not know what to do. And that was not great. I just wasn't good at Astral Chain. Just really wasn't good at it. But oh well. I forgot what the controls were like. Oh, Child of Light. I played that one. I played Child of Light. I uh, haven't finished it, though, because I'm severely underleveled and I have to grind. And I didn't do that yet because I hate grinding. But uh, Child of Light is definitely an interesting game. I'm um I'm not a big fan of um uh RPG uh RPGs and of like turn-based RPGs. But Child of Light put a really fun spin on it that I think is really made it really interesting for me to play. I like Child of Light a lot. Thought it was very good. Should play it again, honestly. I'm gonna put a light blue one here too. But um, yeah, Child of Light, I should finish that game. <laughs> but I've played that one. Uh, let's see, Vanquish. I have not played Van Vanquish. I know nothing about Vanquish. I have no idea what kind of game it even is. Oops. <laughs> Uh, let's see, let's see, Ori, mmm, Ori and the Blind Forest, uh, I played Ori and the Blind Forest, like, I didn't, I never finished it, but I played a part of it, um, like, ages ago, on a day that I was sick at home, I was, was still living with my parents back then, so, imagine how long ago that was, <laughs> That's a while back, guys. That's a while back. I can assure you. That's that's some time ago. I played Ori. Uh, and I really liked it. I thought it was very cool. Um, I don't know why I didn't continue playing. I must have been just as impatient and stupid as I am now. <laughs> I also would like to be better at um, Overwatch. 
And why am I saying Overwatch right after Ori? Because it's also a game that I used to play at that desk that I played Ori at. <laughs> so I was just reminded of the desk that I played it at and then the Overwatch game I used to play. I used to really, really like Overwatch. I still think Overwatch is good, but... Man, I don't have the time to get good at it. Cry with Ori? Oh yeah, I cried. I cried. Wait, do you guys want to see my most prized possession? Just a second. I can't really show you the entire thing, but... <laughs> Wait, here he comes. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> Maybe, maybe. Too big. No, doesn't fit. Would touch the glue. Hello. She's so big. She's big mama. <laughs> big mama. Big mama plush. Got it for my birthday from friends a few years back. Really good gift. <laughs> I love my mama. I got the Ori plush. Uh, her um, her arms are actually, um, uh, what's that called? The closing mechanism that sticks to itself. Um, what's that called? I forgot the word for it. The closing mechanism, like sometimes you have it on shoes, it like sticks to itself. No, not magnets. The other one. <laughs> uh, what's it called? What's it called? Velcro! Yes! Velcro. Velcro. Her hands are like Velcro, so they attach to each other. Because the, the whole idea is that you can buy a tiny Ori plush that fits exactly, like, right in between the arms. I don't have the Ori plush, though. And I don't think they sell it anymore. <laughs> Too bad. But it's cute. Can probably get an Ori plush sometime. It is very cute. Yeah, it's very cute. You can you can let her hold Ori. It's adorable. It is adorable. I really, really like it. A really nice plush. But yeah, that's um, one of my prized possessions that I have, <laughs> that I own, that I love. <laughs> but I haven't ever finished Ori in the Blind Forest. Should play it again. I think that of a lot of games. Have I watched a silent voice? I have, and I'm gonna say it. I'm gonna say it, guys. I'm gonna say it. I will say it. Don't be offended by my truth. I think the manga for a silent voice was better. Just saying. Um, I'm sorry. A thousand people unsubscribe now. <laughs> I'm sorry. I just thought that one was better. I'm sorry. Oh. Uh, I'm not I'm not saying the movie was bad. The movie was good. The manga was just better. I I like the manga a lot. And uh, when I went to see the movie, I'm going to be real honest with you guys. I was a little disappointed. Why was I disappointed, you might ask? Um, because I love that manga so, so much. And I understand that because it's a movie, they have less time to cover what they did in the manga. But I liked the manga so much that 
I I think I just <sighs> there was a lot cut that I feel like would have made the story even better because in the manga like uh, for those of you who don't know what the story is about the story of a silent voice or uh, Koe no Katachi is about um, this guy who used to be in a class with a deaf girl and he used to bully her and then he meets her again years after and he realizes uh after he's like kind of come around to like thinking about it and kind of like be becoming a better person he realizes that he did a really really bad job at like treating her like a normal human being so what he does is he um tries to become friends with her and tries to like make up for that time that he bullied her and he tries to he actually becomes friends with her and actually starts to like like her as a person um and it's really sweet but then they meet a lot of like uh people that were in their classroom too like in their class too um who also bullied her and throughout the entire manga i was kind of like i there were characters that I, I specifically one character in the manga no two two characters in the manga that I kept thinking oh I like them oh I hate them they were bullies and then I would be like okay I understand their reasoning and then they would do something again and I would be like okay they suck they suck as people they suck so bad um, and in the movie to me it was just like okay they suck uh, there was no tiny redemption for them the same way that there was in the manga for me personally but that's how i feel about the manga so or about the movie um and about the manga honestly doesn't mean that everyone feels that way and it was still a good movie still liked it a lot i would say it was a very good movie i would watch it again um i was just a little disappointed just a tiny little bit but that's okay that's okay but it's still very good and I would recommend it I would recommend Koina Katachi I would recommend it to people it was a good movie And I understand the cuts that were made, like why they were made. I just wish they didn't have to be made. A tough piece because it's in the middle again. Ooh, okay. Maybe a dark green piece. Put a dark green in it. Whoop. Like that. Nice. It's starting to come together, huh? It's actually looking quite nice. Yeah, trust the process was right. Oh, you cried so much for your uh, with the your name anime. Me too, me too. Oh man. I bawled my eyes out when I watched your name. So I watched that um movie uh at a really, really busy time in my life. I was like really busy back then. Um, and a friend of mine actually asked me, they were like, hey, you wanna, wanna go to the movies? Um, and I was like, yeah, sure. Uh, because there was like a special, uh, Japanese film festival, I think, or like film festival. And they, they showed it for the first time in my country. And I was like, okay, let's go there. That sounds like a good movie. Let's do it. And um, I knew nothing about it. So I went there with my friend. We went there. We were like, okay, it's going to be a fun movie. We're just going to watch the movie. It's going to be a good time. It was a good time. It was a very good time. So good, in fact, that we both bawled our eyes out. When it ended, we were crying so bad. And I was like, holy shit. That was a great movie. I loved it. I loved it. I loved it with my entire heart. I loved that movie. It was really, really good. And um, uh, I watched it another time with my mom 
because I told her about it. I was like, mom, this movie, it was so good because obviously she like asked, she asked me like, how was it? Was it a good movie? Was it a good movie? I was like, yes, mom, it was so good. I bawled my eyes out. It was, it was a beautiful movie. And my mom had told me like, oh, that's interesting because she had like the, the usual like, um, I guess like parents kind of stance on it. She was like, hmm, I don't really understand how um, an animated movie can make you feel that way, can make you feel um, that many emotions. Like f to her, it was like, oh, it's animation. So um, it must not convey the same emotions. And then it came to cinemas here and my mama, I told my mama, I was like, mom, the movie that I watched back then, it's coming to cinemas. Do you want to watch it with me? And she was like, yeah, sure, we'll watch it. And then she cried too. And that was my biggest accomplishment. That my uh, mama, my mother, she cried. <laughs> I was like, stay mom, it's the animation that gets to you. And she, um, she understood from that point on. <laughs> she understood. So yeah, it was, um, it was an interesting experience, to say the least. But I love your name, or Kimi no Nala. Love it. Absolutely love it. I have some merch of it, too. I have the manga, like, parts of the manga as well. And, um, I have a glass, actually. I can show you. It's right here. Wait, let me show you. Um... I use this glass to, like, oh man, oh, that's reflective. Look, it has a print on it. And a print on the other side as well. See? I burn, like, candles in that because um, they can see the prints well. It's really cute. I have that one. I also have, um, uh, like I said, the manga. I think I bought, like... A hair tie that looked like the one in the movie. Oh, whoops. I bought a hair tie that looked like one in the the one in the movie. Um But back then there wasn't a lot of merch that you could buy for it. There was not a lot. So I didn't get to buy a lot of it. Otherwise, I probably would have bought more. I think I have one of those tiny, like, kind of crappy wall scrolls. <laughs> I think I had a tiny one of that, too. Mm. Oh, you showed your mom Puss in Boots, a Boots, The Last Wish. I should still watch that movie. I've heard a lot of good things about it. I know that friends of mine were, like, very, very hyped about it. And they told us to watch it, that it was so good. So I would like to see that. I would like to watch that one still. I'm sure I will cry. Do, 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 do. Pretty sure I will ball my eyes out at that one too. I want to say I don't cry at movies that easily, but I do. I would be lying if I said that I, I wouldn't I don't cry at movies easily. Because I do, I cry movies all the time. But yeah, that's definitely, definitely something that I really, really like. Um, speaking of like movies and stuff, oh man, I am, I am in, I'm doing the segways today. We got this. <laughs> Another question that I got was, uh, who was your first anime, video games, or movie crush? I think we can do all of them. Uh, I think we can do all of them. But I need to think about that. That's tough. That is honestly quite tough to think about. Um, my favorite movie... Mm, I mean... Mm, mm, mm. I don't watch a lot of movies. I don't really remember my first, first crush, but I do remember another crush. Wait. Oh man, I'm pretty sure. 
Hazel knows exactly who I'm going to show to you guys. <laughs> oh, I know that Hazel is aware of this cr crush of mine. <laughs> that I had when I was a child. Oh God, and honestly still, I'm still in love with her. Um, yeah, let me get this image up. Uh, let me save the image. Oh man, people made like glitter images of her. Imagine. King Sombra, no, 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 no. No, definitely not. Um, look, my, my first crush, or a crush that I had in like a series that I vividly remember is this one. Huntix Zalia Moon. Does anyone remember Huntix? Does anyone know what Huntix is? Because this was my childhood. I would wake up early in the morning to watch this and then I would Zalia Moon, my oh man, oh man, it's by the same people who made Wings Club. Oh, I think maybe my first crush also next to this one would be like Tecna from Wings Club. <laughs> you remember the show vividly? Let's go! Let's go! I actually rewatched it um like a few years ago uh, with a friend because I I told her about it. I was like I am. I'm, and this is when he first watched. And then she was like, oh man, oh man, we gotta watch this. It's not good, but man, I loved her. Zalia Moon. She was so cool. Also, I have I have like a special connection to her because Zalia's Dutch, and so am I. And um she had like anxiety problems. So do I. So I mean, man, man. Man or women. <laughs> I was like, oh, ooh. I loved her. I loved her. I loved her so, so much. Oh, man. Oh, still love her a lot. I still love her a lot. She's definitely my favorite. I actually have a figure of her, too, uh, which was like a, a special find. It was such a special find because... Huntik is such a lost gem. I feel like nobody knows Huntik anymore. Um, I feel like people didn't know it when I when it was still like airing on television. They never uh, the show got two seasons. They never aired the second season in Dutch, but the first season did air in Dutch, and I watched that religiously. I would watch Huntik all the time. I would set an alarm on the weekends so I could watch it in the morning. I loved Huntik. Oh, yours was Yami from Yu-Gi-Oh. Let's go. Classic choice. Let's go. <laughs> I also really liked um, Utau from uh, Shugo Kiara. It was also definitely one of my favorites. Um, Jesse from Pokemon. Um, definitely high on that list, too. Um... Who else would we have? Uh, man, so many, so many characters that I liked. But like actual crushes, definitely Zalia it was definitely an actual crush. Actual crush. Kim Possible. Oh, understandable. <laughs> understandable. Understandable. I, I never really managed to watch Kim Possible on like Dutch television. I feel like it wasn't really popular here, so they didn't really air the show here a lot. But there was a video game. <laughs> An online flash game of like Kim Possible that I used to play all the time with my sister. It was really tough. It was a Kim Possible platformer game where you started as Kim as a child and then you would gradually become older do you understand also i liked powerpuff girls but i didn't have crushes on them i just liked them just thought they were cool you know no crush just thought they were cool oh, shoot. 
Maybe this one then. Yes. So yeah, that was a lot I liked. Mm -hmm. Gojo is your crush now. My current crush? Mm. What would my current crush be? From animation, current crush. Oh, uh, oh, I know. My my current video game crush is Minthara from Baldur's Gate Three. <laughs> Baldur's Gate Minthara. <laughs> look, look, listen, listen. Just because I like a character does not mean I condone their actions. Okay. That's all I gotta say. I but I love Minthara. Man, Minthara. Man, Minthara. Man, Minthara. Also, I mean Lady Dimitrescu. Um, but you guys know that. Uh, who else do we have? Mm, maybe. Um. Who else do we have on the roster that I could talk about? That is a current crush of mine. That is like anime crush. Oh, Fallen from uh, Dungeon Meshi. <laughs> I haven't even seen her yet. I'm reading the manga. I haven't even seen her. She's not even in the manga yet at the point where I am right now. But I love her. And I know that I will love her even more when I finally meet her. But Fallen, I like her. Well, I wouldn't say she's a crush of mine. I just like her. Aura Blackwell. Yes. Yes. Francisco from Karma, Ara Blackwill, my Ace Attorney crushes. Bjork Busters got it. <laughs> Bjork Busters, listen to me talk. <laughs> uh, but an early childhood crush in video games, probably the Harvest Goddess from Harvest Moon. <laughs> Harvest Goddess! Harvest Moon Goddess! <laughs> Harvest Moon Goddess! Let's go! <laughs> oh man, I really am exposing myself to you guys today. You guys are getting the full package. <laughs> the full package today. Rosalina! Good one! I love Rosalina. I love Rosalina. I think she became a crush of mine like until much, much later, but I definitely crush on her still. Rosalina, man, man, man. I like Penny and Stardew. I do. I do like Penny and Stardew, but I wouldn't say she's a childhood crush. I mean, I wasn't a child anymore when I played Stardew Valley for the first time. So, hmm. But I like Penny. Yes, I like Penny. <laughs> I like Penny a lot. Penny is a cutie. My little cutie. Let me save her from the toxic household that she lives in. I love Penny. I can fix her. It's uh... <laughs> can't believe I'm saying these things. Oh god. You guys bring out the worst in me. No, no, just kidding, just kidding. I love you guys. Mwah. <laughs> but yeah, there's a lot of characters that I do really like. 2B. I like 2B a lot. Can you fix Minthara? I mean, I, can, I can't fix her mentally, but I can fix her... Romantically. Eh. <laughs> Why am I like this? So oh, good. I'm just gonna continue making this little Pac-Man ghost, okay? Just don't mind me. <laughs> oh god. <laughs> oh man, oh. I'm exposing myself so bad right now, you guys. Please, don't make my mom see this. <gasps> what if my mama watches this stream? I'm gonna be so embarrassed. Mom, please. Mom, if you're here, please leave. <laughs> what if my mom is here? 
Mom, if you're here, please ignore this. Ignore what I talked about. Oh. See, I'm getting so nervous, I'm knocking over the glue! <laughs> you guys are making me tremble. I'm so nervous. Oh man, you guys are making me sweat. Sweat for my craft. Oh. Oh god, which one? Oh man, this one. Sure. You guys are making me sweat. It's all good. You once made a list of your anime husbands. Let's go. <laughs> what a mood. What a mood. You want to see another anime crush that I had that I really liked? Okay, so this this requires a little bit of information, right? So I used to have... Um, uh, I used to... Like I told you, I used to wake up early for uh, hunting, right? I used to wake up early for hunting. But... But, um, not only did I used to wake up early for hunting, when hunting was on, like right before, uh, or uh, before hunting, there was Pokemon, and then bef before Pokemon, I continuously like started waking up earlier to watch shows that I liked. Um, so. Before, before, um, <clears throat> that's another game I would like to play. Ooh, okay. Before we had, um, Huntic, there was Pokemon. And before we, we got Pokemon on television, we got Dinosaur King. And Dinosaur King had Reese. Look, all I have to say about this is I like smart women. Okay. Smart women. Give me an intelligent woman. She was smart. She is a cutie. This is her one of her game sprites, I think. No, I'm not sure. No, I don't think so. But uh, there's a Dinosaur King game. Maybe we should play that one on stream sometime. Shall we? Shall we? Mm. See? Jesus has taste. He knows the scientists. It's the scientists. It's, I'm, I'm scientist sexual. <laughs> oh man, I can't with myself. <laughs> oh God. Um, so, you know, it's the scientists that I liked and still like. Should we see how heavy this is? Hmm, not that heavy. The jacket and the glasses. Yeah. Dinosaur King anime. Yeah. The anime. I used to watch it. Used to watch it. Show the one in the dinosaur costume. Okay, wait. Let me find it. Let me find it. There's a picture of Reese as a dinosaur. Um, she once dresses up as a dinosaur in an episode. I don't know what episode anymore. I remember. I have some of them downloaded uh, in Japanese. Where's the one where she wears the dinosaur costume? Where's the one where she- <gasps> I found it. I found it. I found it. Oh, shoot. I need to save it. It's really small, but at least you guys can see if I show you guys. Wait. Okay, look. So Reese once dressed up as a dinosaur. I'm sorry, but she's just- she's great. Look at her. She's amazing. I should cosplay this version. <laughs> Isn't that amazing? <laughs> Let's go. She's cute, right? What? <laughs> <laughs> Don't say those kind of things about my childhood crushes. <laughs> <laughs> I like her hair. I just liked her hair, okay? I just liked her a lot. Man. Oh, this stream is going to be the death of me. You guys have no idea what you're doing to me mentally. I'm 
slowly passing away. But you know, I'll just pretend I'm fine. Pretend you're good. Go on. You got this. Kira, you can do it. Just pretend you're okay. Yeah, those were uh, some of my childhood crushes. Mm hmm. <laughs> you had the biggest crush on Gilgamesh from Fate Stay Night. <laughs> Don't know what that says about me. <laughs> I mean, look, we won't talk about our problematic crushes, okay? I won't. I won't shame you guys for problematic crushes. Maybe. <laughs> Depends. A little bit on how problematic. <laughs> But I won't, I won't judge. I'm not one to judge at all. Because I mean, I have Minthara on that list. So I, I don't have the right to say anything. I just don't have the right to say anything. Also, I have Lady Dimitrescu on there, so. Case in point, I just don't get to say anything. I don't get to blame people for their crushes. Gilgamesh is your Minthara. <laughs> We're all in this together. <laughs> Morgan from Dragon Age 1. Oh, I don't know that one. Wait, I need to look that one up. Let me see. Dra oh, whoops. Uh, Dragon Age Morgan. Oh, oh, understandable. Understandable. Have a nice day. <laughs> understandable. I understand. I understand. I understand that one. I really do. Oh, man. Uh, maybe I should continue on this side. Oh, God. My mental health is declining. Just declining. Just by this conversation alone. <laughs> oh god. Uh, also, Fire Emblem Camilla is on my list. Of characters I like. We're just listing off characters I like now. No longer my crushes. Just, well... I mean, Camilla. Just saying. <laughs> Sometimes, Yuri, you should know when to stop talking. Could be smart to learn when to stop talking. Or don't, and just continue talking about all these weird-ass crushes that you have. Not all of them are weird. But some of them are. Keep talking. <laughs> Maybe I shouldn't. <laughs> Maybe I shouldn't. I feel like every time you guys tell me to keep talking, I say things that can be taken out of context. And I feel like if you guys tell me to keep talking, that's a sign to stop talking. <laughs> but you know. Oh well. But yeah, uh, if we're talking childhood crushes, still, definitely Tecna. Tecna from Wings Club. Ah! I was so sad when she wasn't in the Fade series, the first season. I haven't watched the second season yet. I liked it. I liked it. My taste is trash. Some interest in any, interest in any magical girl? Well, uh, Utahu counts as a magical girl. Utahu Hoshina. Sally for you was Tomo and Mommy. Let's go! Taste! 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 I like Mommy the most out of Madoka Magica. She's my favorite there too. Same. Let's go! You guys all have taste. Taste. 
taste, guys. That's just a sign of good taste. That is just a sign of good taste. I don't know what to tell you. That's just a sign of good taste, astronauts. You guys have good taste. Sad taste, too. But... <gasps> Tokyo Mew Mew? Yes! Um, yes! Um, I, I haven't really seen it. I've read the first volumes of the manga. Because I got, like, a volume that had, like, the first two. Um, but I haven't watched it actively. I really wanted to watch it, but it wasn't airing here anymore then. So I couldn't watch it. But I really wanted to. Oh, no, not you. Um, but I couldn't. So that was sad. Um, but I just, like, I was basic. I just liked Ichigo. Did you like- I just wanted to ask, like, I saw your message. Am I gonna share this? Yeah, the biggest crush on Kishu. I mean, I feel like Kishu is, like, such a classic character that young girls had a crush on because... Just one of those characters, you know? Just one of those. Just one of those. I mean... Anime and manga also aged, and I don't want to say that they aged badly. Some of them <laughs> aged badly. And some characters are just like, when we look back on it, they're problematic. And you just, you can just think, you know, they're a product of their time. Um,. And if you had a crush on them back then, it's fine. I mean, like I said, I'm not going to judge you for problematic favorites. I saw a lot of discourse about, um, <clears throat> like, people who like has been hotel characters. And then, um, there was this person who really liked Valentino as a character. Like, they cosplayed Valentino to a con, and then apparently at a convention, at the convention that they were at, they got harassed. This is all that I've heard from, like, other information sources. They got harassed because people didn't like Valentino, and they were like, Oh, you cosplay Valentino, blah, blah, blah. And they harassed this person for cosplaying Valentino, and this person was like, Man, I just think the character's interesting. I don't condone his actions. I don't like him as a person. I just... I just think the character's interesting. And I think that really, really, really sucks. Like, that is definitely something that we shouldn't do. So, if you think that that's okay, don't. <laughs> don't. That is never okay. It is never okay to harass people for the characters that they like. <clears throat> Even if those characters are problematic. Like I said, I like... Minthara a lot as a character in Baldur's Gate. Does that mean that I um like her actions? That I like uh killing innocent people? No, I don't. Obviously. I I don't. I just think she's an interesting character. Does that mean that I think all her actions are good and I should I should I mean, no. I don't think her actions are good. She's not a good character. Like, do I like... I like... Okay, easier example. I like um, Francisca from Karma, right? From Ace Attorney. I like her a lot. Is she a bitch? Yes. She's not a kind person. If I met her in real life, I would probably not like her. She is not a likable person. She's not a kind person. Imagine you meet that person... And they're mean to you all the time. I'm not gonna like a person who is mean to me all the time. But the character, I think, is very interesting. And that's why she's my favorite character. But it doesn't mean that I like people like that. Like, real life and fiction is definitely different. For me, at least. And I feel so bad for the person who got harassed. That's, like, absolutely horrible that people do that. Especially because, like, um, there are, um, 
characters that are just universally hated that if you like them people are already like kind of making you out to be this weird person who likes a character that nobody likes and apparently that's what happened to that Valentino um, cosplayer and I feel so bad for them I feel so bad for them I'm like what the heck they just wanted to do a cool cosplay like I literally told a friend of mine like a few days ago I was like hey Maybe we should cosplay like um, Vox and Valentino because I have a vision of how that could look and it could be super cool. And does that mean, does that mean that I think my friend is like Valentino? No! Does that mean that Vox is my favorite character? No! It's like, ugh, man, I really don't understand people who, who act like that. If I, if I can be honest, that's that's just... I don't understand. That's where my understanding stops. I have to be honest about that. That's where I stop understanding people. Once they start harassing others over, like, characters that they like. Man. Hi, Corbzilla. Welcome. You're coming in at the right time. <laughs> we are ranting about favorite characters. But just like whatever character you like. Honestly, I could care less. I, no, wait. I couldn't care less. Learn how to speak English, Yuri. Mm. <laughs> Just because you cosplay Marvin Grossberg once doesn't mean you got hemorrhoids. Exactly. Exactly. That's basically what it is like. <sighs> That's basically what it is like. Cosplay definitely is like so different from what I feel like in real life. I don't cosplay characters that I think um, are good people. Sometimes I do. You've been listening for about a few minutes. Oh man. <laughs> I promise I'm also happy. <laughs> but some things are important to talk about sometimes, you know? I'm like, man, I should... We should talk about these things. Just don't harass people. It's as easy as that. It really does not need to be that hard. The rule is just do not harass people. Got it? <laughs> uh, anyway, um, about... Uh, speaking of harassing people... Uh... <laughs> Hmm. That's an unfortunate segue. Uh, no, I got another question. Um, <clears throat> did your streaming ever get you in trouble with your neighbors? That's an interesting question because I say that all the time, right? I say like, oh, my neighbors are going to complain or my neighbors are going to hate me for this or my neighbors this, my neighbors that. I never got a complaint. Ever. I've never gotten a complaint, actually. Never gotten a complaint about, um, like, uh, volume or anything. Never. And I'm so surprised by that. I just think that the spaceship is well isolated. Like, the, the isolation foam must be amazing here. No, it must be, like, the, it must be soundproof. Pretty well soundproofed, I think. That is what I'm I'm assuming. Um, because no, I've never had a complaint. Never, never, ever. But I do worry about it. I worry about getting complaints. Sometimes I think to myself, I'm like, ooh, this could definitely get me a complaint. Um, like, I'm, I'm being loud, or... Especially when I stream, like, later at night. I would like to do a 24-hour stream sometime. Like, that's that's really high on my, my wish list, actually. Something that I really, really want to do is a 24-hour stream. Just stream for 24 hours. No, no sleeping in those 24 hours? Just 24 hours. You know, I just sit down to stream for 24 hours. I feel like that could be fun. Like, the 12-hour stream, but just twice as long. Uh, just once, you know, to, like, test the limits and stuff I think that would be cool to do um, but I am trying to be careful about not making too much noise 
and I'm thinking about like how should I do that how should I approach a 24-hour stream if I'm gonna be loud here all the time mm, no not that one this one if I'm gonna be loud at the entire day like how do I hmm I should I should be careful you know I should be careful but I think I think it, it um, it's just my current spaceship is like really soundproof I think I never hear my neighbors either so I just think it's 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 that most of all I just think that's it the soundproofing is just good here <laughs> which is perfect for someone who streams Imagine if it wasn't. That would be unfortunate. The soundproofing is pretty good here. So I'm happy. I feel blessed with a good soundproof uh, spaceship. Because um, it keeps it easier for, um, for me to stream. But also keeps the streams better for you to watch. For you guys to watch. Because... Um, uh, you know, not a lot of background noise, stuff like that. Are the blue things edible? No, they are not. It's um a mosaic, actually. Also, welcome. It's a it's a mosaic that we're making. Uh, it's not edible. Should not eat it. Um, but it does look nice, right? They do look kind of edible, <laughs> but they are not edible. Hi, Ariel. Welcome. They do look edible. Yeah, they're kind of like D and D dice. <laughs> <laughs> they just look edible. Like, hmm, I could just chomp on one, I think. But no, don't do that. That will ruin your teeth. They're rocks. It's rocks. I'm gluing on rocks. That's what I should have called this stream. Glue the rocks. Gluing on rocks. Mm -hmm. Some do like look like gummies. Yeah, especially like the these ones because they have like the little glass layer on top. It just makes it look so chewy and nice. But don't chew them. Don't chew them. Hold back. Don't do it. <laughs> but it's really relaxing to glue them on. It's really fun. I'm all good. How are you, Ariel? I'm all good. I'm happy to be streaming this. I had a pretty, uh, pretty fun day actually. I did a lot of different things today, but also didn't really. The texture, yeah, it's the texture. It's all about the texture. Mm hmm. Should do my dishes after this stream. That's something I'm not looking forward to. But I should probably do them. Otherwise, I'm gonna have to do them tomorrow before the stream, like really quickly, and that's suboptimal too. So, you know, that is suboptimal. Not the best time to do your dishes. All right, we've got a lot of light blue ones left. Hmm. Maybe should I should start sorting them? Nah. We'll be fine. I'll put another uh, glitter one there. There we go. Looks nice. Um, I think I'm just gonna fill up the areas that are just not the outer layer, because the the outer layer will be the hardest one to to do. You've decided to not do your dishes today. Let's go. Self care. Self care is not doing the dishes. <laughs> Man, I hate doing the dishes so bad. I think doing the dishes is my least favorite um, household chore. Hi, Jane! Welcome, welcome! How you doing? How you doing? How you doing? Speaking of games, by the way, that we um, still want to play, uh, Jin showed us Enshrouded last time, and I'm interested in playing it. I would like to test that one out, too. I should get it. I should get Enshrouded. Because it looked like a lot of fun. And hello. Caught me live at last. Ha <laughs> <laughs> Oh, you're tuning into a special live stream. It's another crafting stream. I do um, crafting stream. I try to do one every two weeks. Because there are so many crafts that I have to do still. like That I just own. <laughs> that I could do. Uh, but also crafts that I really want to do. 
that um, I felt like it would be fun to do more crafts. More crafting on stream. And this is one of those streams where we do crafts. I hope you enjoy your time. How have you been? Bup, bup, bup. Ooh. I'm just trying to like kind of gauge like where to put the certain certain ones. One of these here would look good. A little row of greens. Connect them. A little bit more. Yeah, perfect. Pixar. Yeah. Woo! Oh no, I touched it. Yeah, it's it is a Pac-Man ghost. It is kind of um uh pixel art, huh? It's just a mosaic. Like gluing on mosaic, like little rocks that look like gummies. <laughs> We've decided they look like gummies. But you shouldn't eat them. We've also established that. That we they should not be eaten. They are not for eating. <laughs> Not for food purposes. Nuh uh. Please do not eat. It's a really light layer. Got some dark ones in there. Um. Do I have. Yes. Alright. It's good. I could do one of these, the hollow, hollow ones. Is this another hollow one? Yes. Hmm. Now we're just gonna have to like kind of see where do we put the last ones? Because now it's getting exciting. I think a light green one and then the hollow one here would look good. Well, we should probably fill up this one because otherwise I don't think it will fit together well. We can put a really light blue there again. A light blue one. There's a lot of light blue going on there. But that's okay. Top's a little lighter than the, the other parts, but that's all right. Ooh, we still have one dark green one. I think I should put that one here somewhere. This blue. That looks good. That looks good. Okay. Mm, fill up these last spots. In the top. Um. Oh, man. This is kind of stressful. Uh, do we have super light blue still? No, we don't. In that case, let's do another glitter one there because we have so much more glitter ones than I thought. Um, and then we can do a light blue one there. Shoot. I was so focused on getting the super light blue ones out that I already used all of them. Oh, that's okay. I mean, it still looks like well... Uh, divided right still looks like pretty well scattered right <laughs> take a bite your teeth shatter <laughs> yes yes <laughs> okay um dark green let's put that one there so let's just start filling up this other colors hollow one Uh, we can do a glitter one, because there's a lot of glitter ones left. Let's do the dark green one here then. Dark green. Okay. There we go. That's good. Um... Can do another one of these. And then whoop, 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 whoop. 
put another... No. This one? Yes. Then I think we could put another glitter one there. That will look nice. Another glitter. Glitter. I like the glitter ones. Yeah, if it was a vulnerable one, it would have had different eyes and mouth. Yeah, it would have the squiggly mouth, right? And big round eyes. I mean, this one also has big round eyes. Okay, let's do two again. And a hollow one. No, that's two hollow next to each other. Don't, I don't want that. Let's do this one then. This one. Uh, let's put that hollow one somewhere else. Not here. This can be another green one. And darker green. Darker green one. Okay. Then we could do, oop, uh, maybe dark blue there. I feel like that would fit nicely. I shouldn't try to rush it. I notice that I'm like rushing a little bit, but I shouldn't do that. We're almost done, almost done. Let's see. Um. Lighter, greenish, turquoise, I guess. What would you guys call that color? Cyan? Would you call that cyan? Oh, let's do another shiny one. Glitter. Glitter one. Just these parts. Just a few left. Just a few. Oh, it's just a few now. Light blue. I think we'll go well here. Oh. Okay. I told you we needed more glitter. <laughs> told you we needed more glitter. Oh god, I like that meme. Uh, let's do a light... No. Yes. Mm. Yes. Light greenish. Likes go reach! What?! Are you for real?! Oh, almost! 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 It says 29 for me. <laughs> Whoa, that's insane! Thank you guys! Oh my! You guys are insane with the likes. You know? You guys are insane with the likes. You guys are going hard! Hard with those likes. Thank you, thank you! That really means a lot to me. It does a lot for the stream. And those of you who are still wondering, like, what do the likes actually do? They help with the discoverability and um, showing your your channel on the YouTube's homepage so it really helps out the channel a lot to have more discoverability obviously I can hear my cat snoring in the background <laughs> snoring really loudly sometimes I wonder if you guys can hear it but I, I guess you can't I think um, I think the uh, um, um I think the microphone cuts it out. Mm. I am only I only stream on YouTube, yeah. I only stream on YouTube. To me, um, Twitch is very confusing. I I personally am not a big fan of Twitch. Um, Twitch's streaming system for me personally. I'm not saying it's bad. It's just not for me. Um, so I only stream on YouTube. But I do have a Twitch account that I watch my friends' streams on. Let's go. Last one. Last one. 
Oh, you watched the cyclothon. Yeah, I watched the cyclothon too. I'm on Twitch to watch the cyclothon. Sea Dog VA and abroad in Japan doing the cyclothon. I donated too. On the first day. <laughs> you should donate, by the way. If you if you want to donate to a cause, to a good cause, you should donate to the cyclothon done by Sea Dog VA and um, and abroad in Japan. They are cycling again. Yes, I think today is day three of a 14-day cycle this time. It's a really big one. And uh, they're raising money for the IDF. The Immune Deficiency Foundation, I think, is the full name. Um, but you should donate. And also look into donating blood plasma. Because it can help out a lot of people. I looked into it too. I'm very, I'm very afraid of uh, getting my blood drawn. And stuff like that. But if I can... Um, if I can can donate blood plasma to help someone out, plasma, I should do that. So um, do it, do it, do it, do it. I'm looking into it too. <laughs> oh man, the hashtags are wrong. Oh yeah, I didn't change them. Oopsies, oopsies. It still says Kintsugi. Oops. Oh well. Oh well, it happens. <laughs> It happens. Oh, well, I'll edit it later if I remember mm -hmm. Again with Chris. Yes. 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 Again with Chris. Chris is abroad in Japan uh, That's his channel name. So uh, yeah, they're doing it again together together They go together And it's uh, it's been it's been good so far from what I've seen The scuff, honestly, James. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Have a good meal, Penguin. Have a good meal. Have a good meal. We just finished the Pac-Man Ghost. I like it. I think, indeed, it did all come together in the end. I should let it dry. I'm not going to pick it up. I should let it dry. What kind of crafts do I usually do? I do a lot of different crafts. Um, I have a lot of DIY stuff. I did more embroidery. Oh yeah, I see the like. Oh, thank you guys so, so much. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you, thank you. I don't think we're gonna set a new one because it's gonna be the end of stream. But thank you so much for reaching the like goal. Let's go. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I love you guys. Look, his eyes are in the heart. <laughs> Uh, 31 is the new light goal! <laughs> okay. <laughs> we'll set a light goal of 31. <laughs> 31 likes, let's go! <laughs> Just a little silly. Oh, that's funny, that's funny. <laughs> but yeah, um... I really like it. I think it was good. And indeed, it was a trust the process kind of thing. I have a few of these left. I have a few uh, white ones left as well. Uh, four white ones, two black ones, and then a few glitter ones and stuff. Maybe I can save them for like other craft projects. These remind me of like the cufflinks that um, Franziska from Karma has. Time to do another cosplay. <laughs> But um, I like it. I like it a lot. Now it says that I should let it dry for 24 hours and then I can attach these parts to it um, and make that look good. Oh, maybe what I should do though, I should, I will attach these. Is this glue supposed to be for, ooh wood as well perfect for a versatile formula and precision nib use it for bonding paper card wood craft foam non-washable fabric projects and more all right well, i guess we'll do it then um it goes on oh man now it has to go oh let's eat all right itadakimasu i'm not gonna eat i already have my dinner I'm gonna go to bed. I'm gonna go to bed in a bit. But 
And this is how it's supposed to be. Just real quick. I'm gonna glue this together so I can insert it into the thing later so this can also dry. There we go. That's good. Make it look a little better like that. All right, and then let's do this one as well. Beep, 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 beep. Beep, 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 beep. Beep, 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 beep. Beep, 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 All right, now that should dry as well. It's a little holder. See, it has a little hole for a screw. So you can like, screw it on there. All right, all good. We're all done. All done. It's pretty nice, right? I like it. I like it. It's really nice. I actually like it a lot. That glue was really fun to work with. It was really clean as well. It was a much cleaner craft than I thought it would be. Because honestly, I thought that this would spill everywhere. But the precision nib, as uh, advertised on the the, the bottle, um, really did, did, did its job. It was really precise. <laughs> it was really good. It was really fun. That was a fun craft. I've had this one for years. That's also why I do the crafting streams, to um, finish crafts that I've had for very long. I like embroidery a lot. We still have a lot of embroidery. We also have a diamond painting still to do. So uh, yeah, I'll figure out what to do in two weeks. But for now, this is it. It's cute. I like it a lot. I like it a lot. I might paint or like color in the sides with like a blue pen or something because I can see like from the sides I can see uh, a little bit of like the wood and I think that if I hang it on the wall that will kind of like not look as good but I think I will hang it up eventually it's cute it's cute I like it it's very cute it's a cute one see I like how it turned out I think the pixelation is also cute if you try to like squint your eyes, if you squint your eyes and you look at it, I think it's, it looks nice. <laughs> the pixel separation. This one um, implies that you do the sparkly ones around the eyes, but I didn't do that one. I didn't want the sparkly ones to go around the eyes. You see two little eyes. Yeah, we squint. <laughs> but it's cute, right? I like it. I like it. Maybe if I take off my glasses, it will be like... It'll look good too. I like it a lot. I think it's cute. Thank you guys so much for joining me. I'm gonna leave you guys with that. That was another craft stream. I'm gonna leave you guys with that because I have to sleep. But I will be seeing you guys again tomorrow for gaming. Tomorrow we're not crafting. Tomorrow we're gaming again. Because after all, I am a true gamer. And games have to be played on this gamer channel. Um, so we're gonna be playing more Nier Automata tomorrow. Nier Automata, I'm super excited about it. Uh, maybe if we really, 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 really do our best. We might be able to get ending B, but I doubt it because there's a lot we still have to do. It depends on the quests and on how quick we are. Maybe, maybe not. But we already did the desert. No, we have to do the entire forest. No, we're definitely not getting ending B. Never mind, I lied. I lied. Um, we're not getting the next ending, but we're gonna make significant progress. That's what I'm I'm planning on doing. So I hope to see you guys tomorrow for more near. It will be the same time as today, 8 p.m. on my time, Central European summertime. That is afternoon for my friends on the west side of the world, middle of the night, or very early morning for my friends on the east side of the world. And until then, I want to thank you guys so so much for being here. Um uh, uh, all people 
old and new. Uh, if you were new during the stream, man, I never say things like this. If you were new during this stream, welcome. I hope you enjoy your time here. If you uh, were here for uh, the, uh, if you've been here before, oh, welcome back. Um, oh man. Okay, uh, I'm, I'm gonna go. I'll see you guys tomorrow. Until then, I'll be seeing you guys on the Twitters, the TikToks, the Discords, and the Instagrams. And until then... Bye-bye! Bye-bye!